What are the peak selling and buying seasons in the Twin Cities region? Yeah, so they're going to drive right alongside the uh, cold weather. So as it gets colder, the uh, selling season slows. So our peak selling time period is generally going to ramp up in the mid-February time frame, and then it will die off as we enter into when school starts into the September time frame. With a peak usually for sales is going to be around late May into June, sometimes into July. And then those slowest months are going to be you know, November, December, and January. Where, where we really see that it's difficult to get all of the trades to be able to complete the certain types of tasks we need for building. And Dale and his team has been able to actually find ways to be able to uh, to build through those cold winter months and still maintain inventory so we can still sell to those people that need to purchase during that time. How does Centra navigate the ebbs and flows of the demand cycle as we get through these seasonal changes? I've been involved in a lot of different markets and there is some level of jealousy of my friends that are in Arizona and Texas and Florida and some of those markets. Markets. It's interesting when a buyer's buying the house in the winter months, quite often we're delivering a home that's unfinished. You know, there's just no way to plant trees, to plant grass, to put sprinkler systems in. It can be very cost prohibitive to put sidewalks and driveways in. And, you know, a funny side note is sometimes your buyer will have a mortgage lender that might be in Arizona and they say, okay, you need to set aside money to put the exterior finishes in. We understand you can't do it because it's January and we're going to require you have to be done by the end of April. And uh, we often then have to go back and say, well, that's actually not possible. And they have a hard time believing that we actually can't be putting in sidewalks and grass in March. And uh, we're saying, well, our, we can still fish on our lakes over the ice in March. And so that's always an interesting conversation, but we've just figured out how to adapt. You know, if we've got a full basement, it's a little bit easier to build those in the winter. It is more costly to be able to do it. Uh, however, a slab on grade you know, a house that your slab's on the top of the dirt, those are extremely expensive to build through the winter. And so we, we've done some things to adapt. And one of those is a slab on grade as an example. We put those in in the fall. We forecast how many do we think we're gonna need through the winter. We put them in the fall so we can keep working through the winter. Because your challenge is with, with all of our trade partners who we really value, and that is how do we keep them at a steady pace? If all of a sudden we stop building through the winter months, you know, these guys are all unemployed and they can't feed their families. And so if we can figure out how to keep that even flow so they can all work steady through the winter and then we can also provide houses to the consumer. So we, we've put those in early. We also find that we build fairly quickly. Um, you know, we're, we're a hundred day build cycle and, and that helps us to get through that quicker because your costs, you know, there's a lot of products you've got to put into the house. You know, as soon as sheetrock stage, you really want those houses at 55 degrees and rising. You know, Josh, you pointed out, it's not uncommon to see a negative 37 in parts of Minnesota. And so we're spending a lot of money on heat to heat those. And so if we can do it quicker, we're not spending as much heat to keep it going as an example, which then ultimately gives a better price to the consumer. You know, something that they can now afford because we're able to build it more efficiently for them. And so there's a, there's a lot that goes into building through the winter. Uh, and we think we've dialed it in pretty well that, that uh, we've got a system that works well and gets the homes in and keeps a even flow for our, our trade partners.